YouTube back with another video and today I'm gonna go over five plays in the Celtics playbook here in 2k24 uh these plays are in the new gen um old gen might have a couple of these plays they might not have these plays I'm not too sure I don't play it and even though I'm gonna talk about five plays at the end I'm gonna mention a couple more plays that could be useful as well so with that being said let's get into it the first play is Boston fist 15 pitch rip this is a pick and roll play but you can use it to get lobs for your shooting guard or small forward, depending on who you call the play for. So I'm going to run it and then go into replay and talk about it. So right here, I call it for Derek White, but Jason Tatum is the one that's going to end up scoring. So if you call it for your point guard or your shooting guard, your small forward will get these you know this first action and then go for the lob but if you call it for your small forward then your shooting guard would be the one to be in his spot so if i called it for tatum he would have the ball and jalen brown would be right here so but right here i wanted tatum to get the shot so uh he gets the screen from porzingis and goes out to the wing so a lot of times you'll be open for this three as well so if you're open for the shot you could take it but if you're not you just pass it back and then you get the screen from porzingis and you know you dive down to the rim and a lot of times you'll have this lob so like i said this is a pick and roll play and if you just run the play like i was designed you know you pass it back and then it goes into a pick and roll so um if both those options aren't open then you can just you know run the play to the end for the pick and roll but like i said i use this play to get either that three or that lob at the rim the next play is quick three scissor this is a three-point play and is designed to get you a three on the wing. So right here, I call it for Jason Tatum. He starts with the ball on the wing. Then um, Porzingis, he gets this screen. He comes out to the mid-range. So if you got a center that can shoot mid-ranges or maybe even threes, um, you can take this shot right here, but I just hold it and Tatum, he goes, you know, under the rim, but then he gets these two screens from Porzingis and Al Horford comes out to the wing and he gets open for the three. So this play is actually pretty old. I remember this play back in like 2K17 or something. It used to be in, I think the Warriors playbook and the, the Wizards, but yeah, this play is still pretty good. Like I said, if you got a shooting center, it makes it even better. But if not, it's still good, and you'll still get um, open threes on that wing consistently. The next play is Quick Iverson Pin 3. This is another three-point play, and you have two opportunities for wing threes. So right here, I call it for Jalen Brown. He starts over here on the wing and Derek White has the ball at the top. And then he'll get these, you know, these Iverson screens. And if you're in a real game, you can pass him the ball and the play won't stop. So it'll just keep going, even if you don't score. So um, you could get a potential three out of this too. If you like kind of push him like out here towards the three point line, because if you just let him run, he'll like go towards the mid range. So you could just hold um, right here. I would hold right on my left analog to like kind of push him out here to get a potential three off. And if you're not open, you could just pass the ball back up to the top. And right here, it tells you to pass to Porzingis, but you could just ignore this pass and hold the ball. And when you do that, whoever's in the corner, so right here is Tatum, he will end up getting these two screens. So he comes out the corner, he gets a screen from Porzingis and Horford, and he comes out to the wing and he gets over for the three. And whoever's coming off these, you know, Iverson screens, you might be able to sneak a lob in sometimes. It's not that consistent, but, you know, it's still an option. So, you know, right here, Jalen Brown, he gets the screens. And then, like, when he comes off this screen, he he dives. So, like, even though he doesn't, he kind of, like, just goes down here to the baseline and not, like, towards the rim. But if you throw the lob, the game will, like, kind of drag him to go catch the lob. So, um, if you notice that the his defender is like kind of a step behind you can throw a lob in the game like i said the game will like kind of drag him 
And so you might be able to sneak some lobs in with this play as well. The next play is quick 12 loop. This is a three point play that's designed to get you a three on the wing. So right here, I call it for Tatum. He starts off in the corner. Derek White has the ball at the top. And then uh, he gets these two screens from Porzingis and Al Horford. And if you just like let it go, he ends up like near the corner. Sometimes he's one step inside the three-point line. Also, sometimes you'll get like weird catches too because of the angle of he's that he's running, especially like when he catches towards the corner. So right here, again, I like to just hold the left analog to the right to push him out toward this wing, towards the wing right here. And you consistently get behind a three-point line a lot more. And the catches aren't as weird. So yeah. When when I run when I would if I'm using this play, that's what I would do. And so right here, I kind of push him out to the wing and he gets open for the three. Also, if you let him run to the corner, you give the defense a little bit more time to recover. So like a lot of times if he's like if he's running out to that corner, the defense like he would like kind of just like shoot this gap right here and run straight to the corner. Um you can also force switches on this play. Like a lot of times, whoever guarding a power forward right here, Durant, if he sees you're open right here, a lot of times he'll step up. So then like now you have this um mismatch in the post if you have, you know, a power forward that can post or just take advantage of smaller people. So this play is pretty good. I remember it being in a Trailblazers playbook at some point. I forgot what year it was, but it's nice to see it back. And yeah, this is a pretty good play you could get some threes out of. And the last play is cut five, give alley. This is a cutter play and you can use it to get some lobs. So right here, I call it for Tatum. He starts on the elbow and Derek White has the ball at the top. So um, you pass it off to Tatum and then you give it back to Derek White and then he got uh, Tatum gets this screen from Jalen Brown and dives to the rim. So if he gets behind the defense, you got an easy lob. So pretty simple lob play. Um, I used it a little bit last year because it was in the Cavaliers playbook. So I used it with um, Donovan Mitchell. I also used it when I used the 06 Heat. So I was able to get some lobs for D-Wade. Yeah, that's a pretty nice cutting play. So those are the five plays, but like I said, there are some other plays that are useful as well. Quick elbow twist three is a pretty good play. Uh, it's a three point play, but um, what I like to do is just ignore that first pass and then whoever's in the corner, they'll get this double screen. So um, you can either get that three off or if they play it like how they play it here, you can potentially cut him to the rim. So if you notice um, your defender like going over the screens and chasing right here, I could just um, hold Y or triangle and cut him right like, straight down the middle of the lane and you know potentially get a dunk or a layup quick elbow pin 53 is another one so um you pass the power forward right here on the elbow and then whatever you call the play forward gets the screen so you got that potential three but you could also ignore that pass and get a triple screen for somebody out the corner so right here I ignore that pass and then Jason Tatum gets the triple screen the only thing I don't like is that he doesn't come out far enough. Like he gets he gets the screens and literally he literally stops at the third screen instead of like just continuing to like keep running up towards the top. I guess you can kind of pull him towards you if you hold the left analog. But another thing about this play is that um these two always seem to run into each other. Like literally every single time he runs in your way and kind of bumps you. So um that's another reason i don't really like this play neither is because yeah like he literally bumps you every single time so it can kind of throw you off a little bit this stagger 35 is another one it's a pick and roll play but whoever's in the corner they'll get you know a stagger string and come out to the wing so right here i call it for Derek white but um the play starts with tatum getting these two uh screens so you got a potential three right here or you know like i said you could cut him to the rim but like this is a pick and roll play, so it just ends up in a pick and roll. But 
Um, this is a play that I've used before. You know, it's just like a quick stagger screen, you know, get you some quick offense. And then if you don't get the shot from there, you can just, you know, do whatever. Fist 81 out is a pretty decent one too, especially if you have somebody that's hedging really far out on the screens because the center in this one, he rolls to the rim really fast. I remember this play from, I think, the Cavaliers playbook either last year or the year before that. But notice how Porzingis comes up and he rolls really fast. So if you got somebody um, like the opposing center playing really high up, you can you can get some easy lobs with this play if you got the timing right. Punch through Iverson is also pretty good as well. Um, it's a post-up play, but you get some Iverson screens for your shooting guard or point guard, depending on who has the ball. So right here, I call it for Horford. Um, Jalen Brown, he gets these Iverson screens, so you got a potential three. If not, you know, pass the ball down into the post or hold the ball for an ISO. Punch box rip four is another post-up play, but you can get a triple screen for uh, your shooting guard or point guard, depending on who has the ball. So um, right here, I have the ball, Derek White, I dribble off to the wing. I don't make this first pass, and I just wait. And Jalen Brown on a block down there, he'll get these three screens. I'm out to the top of the key, so um, you could get some threes from that. This is not something that I would use online just because of how you just have to stand still and do nothing while the play is running. But against the CPU, you know, you can, you can use it and get some threes out of it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, this playbook is pretty good. Celtics always usually have a, a pretty decent playbook. You got a lot of variety. You got some lobs. You got um, some screens for, to get your shooters open. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. As always, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.